Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this showcase. In this roundup, we've got some awesome miniatures painted by the team here at Siege. Recently, we have got Belial, Master of the Deathwing from the Dark Angels chapter. We've also got a custom service Witch Hunter from Age of Sigmar. We have Horus Ascended from the Horus Heresy. And finally, we have a Norn Emissary to finish off this showcase. First up, let's have a look at Belial, painted by George from the team here at Siege. Belial has been painted to our gold level with some additional freehand that's been done on the reverse of the cape, which you'll see shortly. But there is a key line on the inside of the cape, plus also on the hood. You can see the classic green tabard to match the cape, uh, and also that cowl just above his head uh, with that key line on it, as I mentioned. I really love the, uh, the red gun casing on the Storm Bolter. Real nod back to the classic Dark Angels from second edition. Uh, as we move the model around, you can see that iconic bone armor of the Deathwing. Uh, do absolutely love the way that that's been painted on this miniature. And the gold looking really nice and rich as well where it's been placed on the miniature. You can see this beautiful Dark Angels chapter symbol that's been freehanded on the back of the cloak there, just to really give the view of the Dark Angels from the chapter. And also, so no one shoots him in the back, which we wouldn't want to happen uh, in case there's potentially a traitor amongst their ranks. You never know. Uh, we've got some little flames there on the base, and there's a couple more flames around the front, but the flames of heresy never falling far from the Dark Angels, as you'll see on the base here. And if we move around, belial has got a little friend, uh, a lot more little base friends coming in 40k. Um, but this guy is probably paying penance for some unbeknown deed that he's done. You can see those flames there just on the base as well. Really nice contrast of the uh, sort of orange tones to the green that are on the miniature. Um, but belial has been done to a really, really exquisite standard here. A perfect miniature to lead your Dark Angels force or add to your collection for display in a cabinet. So next up, we've got a beautiful witch hunter, but not any witch hunter. It's a custom service witch hunter. Custom service is our character creation brand here at Siege, where we take your idea for a character, be it from artwork, a book, or even from some law or narrative that you've made up to create a one-off bespoke miniature for you and your collection. So let's jump in and have a look at this witch hunter. Sculpted by Simon from the custom service team, uh, all the intricate little details on the miniature that have been added to the existing sort of frame of the previous miniature. Size so spent a lot of time and effort really adding a lot of interest specifically to the miniature. My favorite thing that he done was the really sort of unique pistol that this uh, witch hunter is armed with. Um, a lot of sort of different parts and details have been added on the miniature to add real interest across the model for the painting side. The model has been painted from Amy from the team. So she's done a great job of really bringing to life all the hard work that Simon put in with the sculpting and the creation of the miniature. We've got this really great dark sort of leather across the model in all the different areas. And if we just move around the back here, you'll see all the sort of attention to detail, the subtle weathering that's been done on that cape. Uh, there you can see all the scratches and little nicks and things. Some of my favorite things about the model are just the amount of little interesting details. So for example, you've got all the swords on the back, uh, just those real sort of, uh, this witch hunter's carrying basically an armory with uh, which I think is um, amazing. Just obviously you've got a hammer, got a pistol and then double sword and even a knife. So she's packing so many weapons, it's unbelievable, which is great. Um, if we move around the front of the model, one of my favorite little things regarding the uh, the painting of it is actually the uh, little blue accents and the sort of blue tones on the silver. I think it just adds a real coldness to the miniature, which I think just works really nicely uh, and contrasts the warmer, richer brown tones. I did incidentally miss that there was a book on the hip as well. So you've got this massive tome that uh, she's carrying as well, which is just great. Probably all the sort of uh, foul things that she's hunting are just listed in there, some book of enemies or something like that, which is just great. And uh, we can't forget it, but it's got a really lovely kind of banner as well. So a unique sort of heraldry there with a stag just on the back as well, which is just really nice. A great sort of attacking pose, just charging forward, firing that pistol, um, that revolver which is just really, really nice. And that's this awesome custom service witch hunter, which we have created for our clients. So from a custom service witch hunter, we have the most recognizable villain from Horus Heresy. It is none other than Horus himself, but the most evil version of him, it is Horus Ascended. And what a miniature we have to look at. So Horus is absolutely massive, hence having to hold his base with two hands. And I really wanna make sure that you all get to see the absolute beautiful work that Will from the team here at Siege has done across this miniature. Let's get it out in the open right away. The base has more skulls and bones on it than the Games Workshop basing kit. Um, a phenomenal, phenomenal base to, to frame the most evil tyrant of the 30K galaxy. Uh, as you can see, Horus here just charging forward with both his talon and also the giant mace which he carries. 
advancing across a field of skeletons and bones. We'll try to ignore the fallen blood angels on the base, uh, pretend that they are not there. But there's also some fallen sons of Horus on there also, which I do really, really like the green that Will has used on their armor. Really vibrant and denotes those little bits of armor just amongst the more neutral toned skeletal remains that are on there. Really lovely, worn, rich gold that's been used to contrast that obsidian Terminator plate that he is wearing. Uh, and you can see a lovely scattering of like bones and sort of like tr little trinkets and things across the armor. As we move Horus round, you'll see the absolute huge belts of ammunition for the Storm Bolter that's in the back of the gauntlet. And as we turn the model around, you'll see this lovely rich red cape that uh, contrasts massively to the dark armor. And you can see all the beautiful work that Will has done there on the lighting of that cape, just to add that nice lighting effect across all of its surfaces and the shadows in some of those areas that aren't getting directly struck by light, which is just great. Can't forget the uh, huge wolf pelt that's on the top of the Terminator plate. Uh, really iconic part of Horus and his overall look, which I do absolutely love. Um, as we move the model around, you can see the mace here, all the gold work that's been done on that mace to add a lot of interest and tone to it. The, the, the sort of gold and metallic details have a lot of interest and a lot of sort of age shown on them, which I think just works really nicely. Um, on the armor at the front, you can see that, that eye of Horus or the uh, that, that chaos rune eye that's just on there. We've got also a couple of heads there that have been sort of put on the, on the waist as well, which I think is quite a gory detail, but a really imposing miniature with that looming presence that he has. Um, full of uh, chaotic power, as you'd expect with Chorus. Um, some of the, you could literally stay at the base for ages. There's so many little details on there. Obviously, you've got the fallen skeletons, you've got the Marines, you've also got some solar auxiliar bodies as well. Got a banner on there as well. So there's a whole host of things for you to look at while you're obviously looking at the miniature, um, but really, really well executed and a perfect, perfect example of a character model with us here at Siege. So last up, let's have a look at the Norn Emissary in a very unique scheme. This is actually an additional model to a previous phase which we have worked on for our clients and they liked the project we were completed previously so much they wanted to add a real centerpiece miniature in this beautiful Norn Emissary. So let's have a look at the miniature in more detail. So this has been painted by James, one of the team here at Siege, who's done a fantastic job of picking out all the intricate little details that are across this really, really imposing miniature. Norn Emissary, a, a really massive model, as you can see here, uh, just really imposing, central to a force, and just has so much going on with it, with all the scything talons and claws, all the armor that it's got across its surface. You've got all of these sort of like glands, these bluish kind of like psychic glands as well, which are just really awesome. Um, one of the things I do really like is just the high contrast between the carapace to the sort of actual fleshy parts. You've got this lovely kind of like tan with some pinky shadows on it, which is just really nice. And then there's some subtle pink accents across the various little details and sinews across the model. Um, a really, really dominant looking miniature. Um, probably one of my favorite newer Tyranids, which has been released of recent times in the Leviathan expansion. Um, I do absolutely love the base as well that this emissary is standing on. You've got all that gantry and tread plate there that's just all bent and torn. You've got some really awesome sort of holes where as if like acidic blood or something has fallen through, which I think is just really great integration between the model and also the base. You've got this really interesting tyranid biological material that's kind of erupting from the floor and then lifting up that armor plate, which is just awesome. Um, I like these little pools of kind of like fluid just on the surface of the base. It almost looks like the bio transference of the planet has already started, uh, which is great. Um, a scattering of green kind of like tufts as well, just really to add a bit of contrast to the pinker tones that are on the miniature. Um, a super aggressive face and details as well. You can see all the teeth and everything fully painted and picked out. You've got that blue glowing kind of psychic energy in the eyes of this miniature as well, which I do really also like. Um, and overall, all the striations and things that you can see on the chitin or the chitin, whichever way you wish to pronounce that, is, uh, is also demonstrated on the miniature. But overall, a really, really sharp, refined and clean looking model um, and makes the model look extremely aggressive with that sort of two-tone paint job and those flecks of kind of like pinky hue that are in different areas. But just a brilliant job there done by the team here at Siege. So there we have it, a great selection of miniatures in this showcase roundup. Now, if you'd like to see more of these showcase videos and you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, we post these videos every single week. So please do not hesitate in subscribing on the button below. If you're interested in a commission with us, be it for a character, a custom character, or even an army project, then please head to the description of this video where you'll find a link to the Siege Studios website. Follow that link to complete a contact form to get your free quote. A huge thank you from all of the team here and myself for watching this video. I do hope you like the miniatures and I'll see you very soon on the next one.